There's no question that humans are constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and we are always trying to find ways to break new ground. The construction industry has seen a lot of this in recent years, and we've seen some incredible projects as a result. With skyscrapers so tall they seem to be reaching for the sun, bridges that rise and fall with the tide, and a multitude of other amazing advancements, there are some breathtaking buildings out there, and yet there's always more on the horizon. In this video we're going to look at some of the most unbelievable, groundbreaking city constructions that are currently occurring on the face of the planet, and find out what makes these so unique. Number 5. The Smart Forest City Cancun. The smart forest city sounds like it belongs in the future, and in many ways it does. It would be a full-scale, completely sustainable city created with green spaces and energy efficiency as its bedrock. The project aims to establish harmony between the natural world and urban development, finding a middle ground that allows both to coexist while providing humans with comfortable living and working environments. The smart forest city is often described as a botanical garden created in the shape of the city, and the concept started in 2014 with the vertical forest that Stefano Bori, an Italian architect and urban planner, created in Milan. The idea has spread, and now he's brought it to Cancun, one of the most famous tourist destinations on the planet. The plan is for the city to cover 557 hectares, and it could become home to as many as 130,000 inhabitants, with 362 hectares of planted surfaces. With huge parks, green facades, and garden roofs, the city could be home to as many as 350 different species of plants, and around 120,000 individual plants. This would mean that the amount of terrain used for construction and the amount given over to greenery would be approximately equal, speaking to the harmony aspect of the plan. The intention is for the whole settlement to be self-sufficient. It will be irrigated by a water channel to the sea and powered by photovoltaic panels. All transport within the city will be electric and semi-automatic. The plants will be selected by landscape architect and botanist Laura Gatti and will absorb around 116,000 tons of carbon dioxide, with 5,800 tons of CO2 stocked per year, according to Bowery's architectural firm. The project faces many challenges, of course, including criticism because, at present, much of the site is untouched jungle, which is arguably more eco-friendly than any city could be. Other considerations include the flooding risk of being so close to the ocean, and question marks over whether the project will succeed in getting approval. However, However, the city does have the potential to be a pioneer in eco-friendly building and could lead the way for other futuristic cities built with cohabitation with nature at the forefront of their design. Number 4. Neom, Saudi Arabia Located north of the Red Sea, Neom is a futuristic city that plans to encompass renewable energy sources, a global trade hub, a floating industrial complex, and tourist resorts. It's intended to be at the cutting edge of innovation and aims to become an industry hub thanks to its location in close proximity to Egypt and South Jordan. The project was launched by Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi Crown Prince, in 2017, and it is aimed at creating a sustainable place for living and working. It will be powered by 100% renewable energy, and it will incorporate multiple mega cities called Sindala, Trojena, Oxagon, and The Line, along with more recently planned Epicon Towers, Serana, Utamo, and a tourist hub called Leja. The Oxagon will become the world's biggest floating structure, jutting out into the Red Sea. The Line is the most unusual. It will layer city functions vertically, allowing citizens to reach everything they need within a few minutes, without depending on transport. This is referred to as zero-gravity urbanism, and would see things like public parks, workplaces, schools, and homes layered on top of each other in a line that is just 200 meters wide. All in all, Neom will cover around 263,000 hectares and is considered a $500 billion project. Much of the site will remain natural, and it's anticipated that robots will be used on the site to help people. At present, the site is still under construction. It was announced that a fifth had been completed in February of 2023. The biggest challenges lie in how much this site is attempting to achieve. It's launched a food company and an airline already, along with ski resorts, ecotourism, and more. 
Trying to handle the logistics of so many different areas is enormously ambitious, but with the backing of the Crown Prince, the project has good chances of success, at least in most ways. A city of these dimensions could reshape the way we view accommodation, especially if the line proves successful. As stated by Neom, Neom is a new vision of what the future can be. Number 3. The Cloud, Seoul, South Korea This South Korean project was cancelled in 2013, but it still bears mentioning on this list as an incredible look at what human creativity can do. As its whimsical name suggests, the cloud was an attempt to create a floating city, letting people live in the sky. The intention was to build suspended modular living space, and is an unconventional approach to city living, with two skyscrapers joined together by a cluster of pixels, forming mist around them. This design would have allowed residents to enjoy an ethereal life from the 27th floor. The towers would have been 260 meters and 300 meters tall, and would have contained gyms, office hotels, restaurants, and luxury apartments. The plan was for townhouses to make up the ground levels, with penthouses in the upper stories. Gardens, pools, and plazas would have been built on the higher levels too, giving the residents access to many amenities. This would have meant residents could enjoy a more social life than is usually available in high-rise buildings, with both public and private outdoor spaces available for everyone. The space would also have incorporated express elevators to allow residents quick access to their homes. The concept was created by Studio Libeskind and had a predicted completion date of 2015, but the cancellation was announced in 2013. Major problems arose when the design was released, as the global audience felt that it was too similar to the Twin Towers, and believed that its construction would be disrespectful to the memories of those who died in 9-11. This project could have changed much about the ways we live in cities with its focus on sunlight and outdoor spaces. It serves as an inspiration for future living spaces and innovative city design, and while it was never completed, it still impacted the way we look at designing living spaces, particularly in high-rise environments. Number 2. Underwater City, Dubai Construction on the Underwater City started in 2019 and was completed in 2021. The Underwater City in Dubai is the deepest swimming pool in the world, and lets divers explore the set of an entirely submerged underwater city. It's such a spectacular construction that it's not really fair to call it a pool, as Jared Jablonski, the director of Deep Dive Dubai, told reporters. It has so much more to offer. That includes a vast cityscape with apartments and streets complete with details such as ATMs, streetlights, benches, and more. You can even visit a working underwater arcade. There are also two dry habitats where divers can come out of the water, but for those wishing to venture deeper, the scene gets increasingly eerie. Moss-covered surfaces, plants, and graffiti feature heavily in the lower spaces, and divers must travel through deep shafts with worn brick walls to reach the full depths of 60 meters. Of course, the pool has many safety features built in, including cameras to keep an eye on the divers. Hydrophones, a decompression chamber, and advanced lighting all improve safety too. The place also houses a huge underwater film studio, along with a media editing room. The water is circulated through a cutting-edge purification system that depends on NASA-developed filter technology, UV radiation, and silicious rock to ensure it is clean and hygienic. The creation of this pool pushed the boundaries of what is considered possible, giving divers of all experience levels opportunities to hone their skills. It broke the Guinness World Record for the deepest pool, and serves as an attraction for tourists, trainee divers, and scientific researchers alike. Building the pool represented an extraordinary challenge. The team had to excavate a hole large enough to accommodate the intended depth and then reinforce it to hold the weight of the water and prevent drainage. The project hit some significant challenges because of the high water table. Water had to be pumped out and off-site, and walls had to be built to stop the hole from collapsing. However, Deep Dive Dubai now represents a one-of-a-kind resource for training, filming, and general recreation, providing another hook to draw tourists to the incredible city of Dubai. Number 1. Mars City, Dubai Intended to be built across 17.5 hectares of desert outside Dubai, with Mars-like conditions, 
Mars City is expected to cost around $135 million to build. It will be made up of a series of biodomes powered with solar energy. Many rooms will extend underground, with water-filled skylights allowing light to enter the rooms while blocking radiation. The idea is to overcome and test solutions to many, but not all of the challenges of living on Mars. The city on Earth may not pressurize and oxygenate the domes, as there's no need for this, but will otherwise simulate many of the conditions to be expected on Mars. Spearheaded by Ingels, the space is going to serve as a research station for scientists, designers, and engineers, and it is expected to become the most sophisticated building in the world when it's finished. The plan is for the team to live inside the city for a year, working on methods for producing water, food, and energy in self-sufficient ways. There are lots of potential problems that may arise with this ambitious project, from the construction of the domes to the simulation of a Mars-like environment. Mars has a lot of harmful radiation and a thin atmosphere, plus an average temperature of minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit. With little air pressure, liquids become gases quickly, meaning an unprotected human standing on Mars would find their blood literally boiling. Capturing and addressing all of those technicalities is a mammoth challenge, and finding a site has proven difficult. This site is still only in the design stages, seven years after it was showcased, because of difficulty in finding suitable land. However, the project is still slated to continue. The ruler of Dubai said, We seek to set an example and motivation for others to participate and contribute to humanity's march into space. With Dubai's commitment to building the first settlement on Mars in the next 100 years, as part of the UAE's Mars 2117 strategy, it's clear why this city is so enormously important for their goals to be met safely and effectively. Furthermore, this is a captivating example of what human technology is becoming capable of, and lets us envision a future that previously would have seemed purely science fiction. As you can see, there have been some incredible projects in recent years, some ambitious and some off the charts for their creativity, resourcefulness and vision. We are stretching our building muscles to their limits as we reshape and redesign the very concept of architecture. Excited for more construction wonders? Click the video on your screen to unravel Miami's $1 billion soccer stadium complex. See you there.